Hi everybody, it's Dr. Magnifico from Jairsville and Polly.com. This is Cole, he's actually an employee's dog. He came in because she was finding lumps, so he's got a lump about this big, so about this big right here. On the other side, here goes Cedo. He's got one right here, which you can see as he's walking, so it's about this big. The problem with both of those is, they, is that they are kind of close to his armpit. So it makes it really hard as they get larger for him to walk. Um, so they're not very big right now and they're not problematic, but I just did a lipoma in a dog that was about this big and under the arm and this dog really had trouble walking. So much so that we had really terrible osteoarthritis in both elbows from just kind of walking like this, kind of cowboy style. So if you find a lump or a bump, the only way you're ever gonna diagnose it is by getting tissue. That means you have to either go in and get a biopsy or do a fine needle aspirate. But if this bump is getting so big that it's making it difficult for you to walk, then be more proactive. Don't wait until it's so big that it's a really huge ordeal to take off. Um, certainly the aspirates will help. The problem with the aspirates is they're probably right maybe 70 or 80% of the time. It's about $200 to do them, and it doesn't change the fact that one, they're not as diagnostic, and two, it doesn't change the fact that they're still causing difficulty ambulating. So we're gonna pull blood work now. I'm gonna write down in my medical record notes like how big they are, and then we always show, um, go over and show it to the owner, and I give them kind of, you know, understanding. I don't wanna wait until it's so big that the dog can't walk, or I don't wanna wait until it's so, so difficult that the dog is now 14 years old and we're trying to figure out whether or not it's safe to do anesthesia. But lumps and bumps are really only diagnosed with biopsy and tissue, so remember that. Um, try to do them sooner versus later and try to understand which ones might be problematic and why. If you have any questions on this, you can find me here at Jarrett's Vet or anytime at Pobly.com and I will post the video of the one that I did this week, which was this big. All right, take care everybody, bye.